Now we are going to display our bars within the diagram. So open our card.js file and we're going to start with the dollar sign uh, bracket and function, so then curly brace, closing curly, and after the bracket semicolon. We start with chart li each loop and function. Inside of this function, we're going to start with the var pc equals this attribute title, just simply percentage, which we get. Now pc equals, if pc is more than 100, then the value is 100. Otherwise, the value will be the value which is assigned to the specific attribute. Then we will have this children and we're looking for percent span HTML and we're going to assign the percentage concatenated with the percentage symbol. So if we save the file now or go back to our browser, refresh the page, you can see the values which are assigned to the title tags of the LI tags within the chart uh, unordered list are now displaying on the right hand side in our percent, the percentage uh, span. Okay, so now we can create another variable with the width of the uh, of the LI tag. So this width And then we do var length or length parse int. We pass the width of the of the ally tag. Then we put 10 after this for the radix to indicate that this is a decimal value. Then we do time parse int again. This time we're going to take percentage value. Again, this is a uh, decimal value and then divide by 100. Now we type this, children, and now we're going to be targeting our bar span inside of the LI, animate, and we put a few parameters here, which will, will be obviously be uh, animating width, and the width we want to be len plus px to indicate obviously the, the value which we've created here, which is basically uh, original length of the of the LI tag, time, a percentage assigned to this specific record, and then divided by 100, which gives us the percentage. Uh, uh, and obviously we assign this value in pixels. Then we have speed after this, 1,500 milliseconds for the animate. I'm going to close the browser here so you can see everything a little bit clear. So that's everything inside of this function. So if we now save the core.js, go back and refresh, our bars are now animating and everything seems to be working fine apart from the color. So if we go back to our editor, open the browser, open our index.html, we can see that all of them, they have assigned class red because obviously I've copied them over and didn't change the class. So if we open our CSS file to make sure that obviously we are assigning the, the right color. We have red, then we have blue. So if I assign blue here, then we'll have yellow. After yellow, we have orange. And at the end, we have purple. Okay, if we set our index, we can close it together with the CSS file. We can also close the browser. Now go back to the to our web browser, refresh again, and you can see all colors are right. The values are displaying on the right hand side, and our bars are also displaying the relevant width. Okay, now we're going to move to the next video, and I'm going to show you how to do this uh, uh, changing of the width and the values when you uh, change the value inside of the field.